high from her side. And what we're trying to show you today is a live video of how we're going to do a bonded retainer direct without any lab preparation um, using a flexible retainer wire. So what I have here is this amazing suction tip and it really helps to keep the tongue away. We've got some isolation, we've already etched. We are now going to be priming the enamel surface where the retainer is going with this bond. And the bond that I prefer is OptiBond Solo. And can I have and we need to make sure we really coat mostly the center of the clinical crown really well. You don't want it too runny, too much or too little. Some people will air dry this, some people not. So if you can see, I've coated quite a bit of the surface with my bond. Now the next step is getting the wire in without actually um, affecting the inner proximal areas. So we have a technique using looped over floss between every contact. Some people use separators, some people use other things. Now Mira is here helping put these in. And we'll be threading through the retainer wire in a sec through all the floss strands. Okay, so we have one more contact to do. All right, so I'm also going to, now this loop that she put over, Samira, you have to redo this. Yep, it needs to be big and wide. So you don't want your loops to be too thin. They have to be wide and open. And now we'll have a retainer wire that will be slipped through all these loops. The retainer wire has been pre-cut to the right size from canine to canine. And you slip it through here, so not yet. Okay. So I'm having a little bit of trouble getting it through this first loop, but once you get it through, as you can see, you start to tease it through all the loops. It's a little bit technique sensitive. Okay. I've got it through all five loops now. And Mira's gonna start pulling slightly gently, gentle, 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 and stop. And now I can see it's in position. And from here on, we can pull it a little bit more stronger. Stop. Okay. All of these strands now in position. So my job now is to make sure that all the interproximal areas that you see here are free and the patient can use an interproximal brush through them. So using a flat plastic or even a scaler, you want to contour it in between every contact and adapt this wire beautifully. You want to make sure you don't add any activi activity onto this wire. Keep this pulled tight mm -hmm. and centered. Okay, Transpon LV is what I love to use. And you just put little dots here. Now you could actually just do the first, this the ends of the wire first. Open a bit wider. Okay, so I've just quickly tag cured this, but we're going to continue on. We've got complete moisture control. You can see there is no moisture here. I'll just open a bit wider. This can be done with indirect bonding as well. Okay. 
I just saw this area is not adapted very well so I'm just going to push it in a little bit more so it's adapted between the contacts as best as possible and now I'm going to do a, a quick cure again before adding more resin we're gonna add a little bit more resin and now I'll need the micro brush so once I put the final layer I'll make sure it's smooth you don't need too much here just enough to cover the wire in the center this is a flowable composite making it all smoother okay. and we do a final cure so now while Mira is curing I'm going to talk to you a little bit about this and Mira